just doing what you love to do for your job, which compromises so much of your waking hours, no matter who you are. The beer business, uh, most everyone is here because they've figured out that uh, this is a way to make their, their career and their job something that they're passionate about and something that they love to do. I, I couldn't imagine starting something like this, throwing all of the money that I have into it and it not being successful. These friends kept saying, God, you keep talking about this brew pub. You should start it. A lot of people that are craft brewers are very passionate about what they do. They sometimes don't initially have a lot of big dollars behind them. So they're just totally driven on passion and a lot of sweat equity. Colorado was becoming the Napa Valley of beer, and Denver was the Munich of the West. The state of Colorado produces more beer than any state in the country. Pretty much everybody thinks of Colorado as the birthplace of craft brewing. Colorado is some of the most highly developed beer culture in the country. Um, you don't want to lose sight of where you came from. When, when bigger is the business, uh, like the personality is small, you know? There's a, there's a whole lot of work that goes into this profession that uh, sometimes people, I think, take for granted. This uh, feeds you, especially when it's moving forward. Taking something that you love, uh, that's a passion of yours, and turning it into a viable way to make a living. Craft beer is good beer made by good people doing what they want to do, you know, putting their heart and their soul into the beer they make. Well, that's certainly, uh, it's a lot of work to live the American dream. Craft beer is the perfect embodiment of the American dream. Having a vision, having a dream, saying, doggone it, I'm going to change things myself. Brew pubs are the border between the bricks of society. And the whole industry can move forward and a rising tide lifts all boats.